worst. Those stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of... Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha, <laughs> ha, move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. It's handsome Squidward. Look at him. Look at him. So beautiful. You're in my... Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this... We annoyed him into giving us a golden spatula. Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. <laughs> Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Ten socks seems like a really high price to pay for some. <laughs> His shorts fell. Okay, as I was saying, ten spatulas. I mean, um, ten socks seems like a really high price for a spatula. I don't really know if that exchange rate is fair. Living under a rock. Now that's the life. <laughs> Looks like that's all that's in here, just a sock. Alright, so hello everybody, welcome back to my SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Bat. <laughs> Rehydrated, we're gonna go to Goo Lagoon. Ah, uh, Goo Lagoon, a sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. Ooh, okay, let's get into Goo Lagoon. The music is very nice. Definitely very fitting for this area. Also want to point out that these robots have a hammer called Ham. Flip that, get over here. They hammer you with the ham. It shines. Nice, got the mega combo. What is going to happen to this poor fish? Use the cheat code for lightning. That was pretty shocking. A very electrifying robot. <laughs> Uh, this robot is called a monsoon. Watch out for its lightning attacks. It may have lightning, but I got bubbles. You're fucking dead, weatherbot. <laughs> I love a 
opening presents. Oh man, let's see. Got some more undies over here. Oh, that's goo too? I can't swim in there? I feel like a new sponge. It looks like I can do this. Yeah, like a spring breeze. SpongeBob, do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Poor robot! Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn! And then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflect connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim. Good job, Larry. The babe protector. Okay, there's one switch, two switch. Oh. Okay, I see. So we need to connect all the lifeguard posts first before shooting it over there, which is exactly what Larry said. I'm just a terrible listener. See, where does this go? Nothing. Okay, looks like we gotta go to this one first. Flop! Oh crap. Belly flop. There we go. Um. Guessing it's the one on the left over here. Yep, connect to that tower. And then from that tower, we're probably gonna wanna go to the one on the left, I imagine. Let's see. Belly flop. Okay, so two options. Definitely not the right. So it's gotta be this one, I think. Yep. And then when this one, it's gonna be... Ah. Hands bot. I'm just getting my way. Probably gonna be this one. And then I think there's only one left to connect, I think. Hopefully this is the last one. Nope, wrong side. Okay, now how do I get to that lifeguard post? Read the sign. You can get to the island from the pier on the other side of the sea caves. Okay, so we gotta make our way to the sea caves to get to the pier, to get to the final post, to destroy the robot, to get the golden spatula, and we can finally relieve Larry of his du bay protection duty. Rain, rain, go away. See you by the bot. Um, there's Mrs. Puff down there, too. Let's go see what Mrs. Puff will give us for a job, if any. Oh no, the children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each. Bubble bash all the balloons, then can do. The reward is that we get to apply sunscreen on her. <laughs> oh god. Oh no, just joking. It's a, it's a golden spatula, okay? There's gonna be no sunscreen applying in this game. It's G-rated. Oh crap. Wait, wait, why did I do why did I even do that? I, there's a there's a bridge right here that connects us to the next island or section of the beach. Somehow I don't 
don't think he needs a hand. Okay. How do I get over there? Oh, okay, wait. It's making sense now. Flip that. There we go. Can I destroy the weather bot first, as well as the duplicator Tron? Now we'll go and save the kid. <laughs> no, he, he fucking hit me when you were on the ground level. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to line up. There it is, got it. It was a little hard to line up um, Spongebob Shadow with the X on the sand. Because the kid was like at just the right height where my bubble bash attack wasn't going to reach him. Oh god, we're going to die. And then we still have two more kids, which they're over there, I think. Well, how many kids do we have left against? Two. Wait. Yeah, no. Why? There's more than two kids. Maybe we get a reward if we save more than two? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's go. Get the undies. Anything back over here? Another sock? Oh, I was mistaken. That is not a child. That is a weather bot. A weather bot. Okay, how am I going to get this one without dying? Or is dying necessary to save the child? Oh, oh, oh. Almost had it. Almost had it. There we go. Alright, final kid, and then we get that sunblock. Uh, golden spatula. No, no! Alright, time for that sunscreen. Oh, crap! That's fine, all the kids are safe. That's all that matters. Oh, Mrs. Puff, I saved all your darling children. Got my spatula. Nice. I wonder who we get to swap with over here. Hopefully it's Larry. No, wait, it's not Larry. He's on... It, it, it's Patrick. Okay. I wonder if Sandy could swim. I gotta test that out if we ever get access to Sandy and some uh, some water. Golly flop. Those are the cutest dragons. Look at them. They look like the inflatable... Um, dragons you could, like, float on the water with. They're too adorable! Um, what can we switch to over here? Probably just back to Spongebob, I, I imagine. Yeah. Oops. Sandcastle contest? Gonna be a dick move, but I wonder what happens- Oh, I can't destroy them. Nice. It shines. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have it. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, you heard Spongebob. right. I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um. The golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sand castle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. All right, got to go to the top of the sand castle. And there's another area over there, which we do have enough. Well, we should have enough money to go there by the time we finish up this objective. Oh yeah, almost there.
Okay. So you got a lot of platforming to do here. Oh, and the water's rising. Belly flop. This game is actually a really fun platformer. Um, I got the rock. <laughs> As I was saying, this game is actually a really fun platformer. It, you know, it's it's kind of goofy because you know it's SpongeBob and SpongeBob is a pretty goofy character. So, and all the other characters as well, but the core gameplay is really fun. It's a really fun 3D platformer. Hi, Pop. Oh, I, oh, I can't throw because I'm not Patrick. Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna... Wait, maybe I won't because it can't fill up higher than the water's coming out, right? No. But I do gotta come back as Patrick to freeze that um, goo to get the uh, sock that was over there. There's a checkpoint here, but I'm not sure why. Maybe I gotta go this way. Yeah, this makes sense. This isn't too bad of a section. I thought it was going to be a lot harder, that's what she said. Um, but it's not too bad, just navigating across this sandy area. And we already got the golden spatula. Smack. Ooh, we can go higher. What's at the top? Probably just a sock or something. Ooh, yep, just a sock. Super monster combo, get all the money. Hopefully I can switch into Patrick on, from the start Thank of this you. level. Yep, there's there's a bus stop right there. You don't say Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so cool. And there's a golden spatula. Yeah, okay, so what I want to do really fast is go back and get that sock with Patrick and then I'll come back right over here. Okay, get the block, throw it over here. <laughs> get the block, throw it over here. Get the sock. Oh yeah. All right, we're back in the, uh, I don't know where we're at, but we are in the caves, I think. And we're gonna hopefully beat this part and collect our next golden spatula. Get rid of these robots first. Bad robots. Oh, got distracted. Okay. Uh, jump over here. Oh, crap. I'm kind of thinking that I need to be SpongeBob. All right, let's try this as SpongeBob. There we go. Yeah, we needed to switch over to SpongeBob to knock down these uh, rocks, which I know there's a technical word for them because the rocks that go... Oh my god, the rocks that grow down from a ceiling have a specific name, and the rocks that grow up towards the ceiling have another name. And also, I don't even know if it's correct to say the rocks grow. I think it's more correct to say the way they form. But yeah, there's like a specific name for them. I just am not remembering right now what it is. Ooh, there's something over there, but I can't get over there just yet. Or maybe I can. See, if the water drops, I might be able to flip this. Yep. Yeah, so now I think I should be able to re- No, I'm dead. Okay, this is the way to go. I feel like a new sponge. Also want to point out that those rolling balls are pufferfish. 
Not sure how Mrs. Puff feels about that. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. You've just met the Spongeinator. Wait, am I stuck? Oh no, I broke the game. There we go, managed to get out of there. Dude, how do I get out of there? Okay, let's try that again. And we kind of messed it up again. I'm feeling like that caveman um, SpongeBob right there. Like, ooh, what do I need to do to get through here? I'm probably just messing up my jumps. Let's see. Nope. Okay. Really? Okay, one more try. There we go, got it. Ugh, just needed to do better jumps. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's see, where, where to now? I just gotta keep going around this cave. Future! Future! For anyone who doesn't know, those uh, characters on the wall are SpongeBob and Patrick from the past. Squidward encounters them when he is sent to the past via a time machine. Oh my god, fuck this weather robot. Fucking dead, dude. Okay. It's a classic episode when Squidward gets sent back to the past. Nice. Golden spatula number 24. And also, I want to point out that the boxes are, I think, a reference to the um, episode where they get a box and they have all these wacky adventures with their imagination. That was a really classic episode, too. I remember it made me want to get a box and have some fun with it. And then when I did actually get a box, I realized I have no imagination and it was just darkness inside the box. Fresh like a spring breeze. Smack. I love opening presents. <laughs> There's not a safe way to hit those. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna switch back. I wanna see what happens when I throw that ice block into the goo over here. They got one sock. Anything else in here you do? Not looking like it. Sorry, Lance. But the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. Oh no, not your money. If you help me get rid of that no good robot. All right, say no more, Mr. Krabs. This robot is gone. Again, again. I, I keep forgetting there's not a... Oh man, we're fucking dead. There's not a good way to hit those boxes. I just need to uh, touch them instead of hit them like this. There we go. I'm guessing we just need to throw the watermelon at the ticket booth. Hey, time to go collect my reward. 
I didn't even realize there was a little fish here with floaties. Smack. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind. I hope my insurance covers all this. Why don't you try something less expensive? Or, I, I mean, they... I need them crazy robots cleared out of the bumper boats. When you've destroyed them all, come... What? More work. Crab is not a crustacean of his word. Because we destroyed the Tigaboo. We should have got our golden spatch up. But it's okay. Just a little bit more work. Let's go down here first. Anything good? Anything good down here? Just a lot of green coins. What? <laughs> oh no! I caused a backage, a clog. Oh, that's. I wonder if that fucks up the game. Huh? Yeah, looks like it's pretty fucked up. We got heads going up, butts. Here, human centipede recreated with uh, inflatables. Okay, there's an ice cube down there. And nothing else down here, so I'm gonna just hitch a ride back up. Whack a mole, whack a tee. Wipe their watermelons. Stomach whacking is faster and more efficient. Nice. Oh, goody, Ooh, golden spatula down there. Smack. See, is there a way to drop in from up here? Maybe over there? Ah, oh, we're dead. Nope. Okay, can't figure out what to do right here. Gonna have to just keep moving forward. What? I, I missed it. Spongebob needs the bubble bowl power to play ski ball. I'm gonna stick his pack trick just because I see some watermelons up ahead. And I know that below all this, there's freezy cubes to get um, more spatulas. There's one right there. Okay, we need to get Spongebob up to that fish hook to parachute down and get that spatula. And then we gotta figure out how to get right there so we could freeze the water, run over there to get that spatula. What does this do? <laughs> do you want to spend the shiny object? Yes. Yes, I do. Ooh, a present to everyone. It's another slide. Avoid those things because they will fucking obliterate us. Uh, that's fine. I need to switch to Spongebob anyway because I need to go up the, uh, 
up that jumpy thing to get up there. Okay, made it to the bouncy thing. Let's get to the top of this. And, oh, oh, missed it, missed it. Okay, we made it to the top. Okay, can you, can you please just make it to the top, SpongeBob? It's show time. One golden spatula. Nice. And then there is one more bouncy thing up here. I'm not sure where it'll take us though, but let's find out. Took us straight to our death. Not too bad. Like a new here we go you know this kind of feels like mario sick oh wait wait did i get the purple one i missed it yeah this kind of feels like mario 64 where you have one world but within that world you have different objectives so the only difference i mean i guess the biggest difference being that Instead of jumping into the painting and select the the objective for that level, you kind of just can pick. Oh wait, gotta get this. Oh, I still missed. What? No wait, I got it. Yeah. So instead of picking the level and you know having one objective to do, you kind of just are thrown into the world, and all the objectives are there for you to kind of work out at your own pace. I think we need to switch back to uh, Patrick for this. Yeah. Well, there's a bus stop down there. Conveniently placed bus stop is convenient. Nice. Smash, smooth. All right, time to go collect our reward That's from Mr. Back. Krabs. Oh wait, here we go. Now we're talking down here. Wait, what do you need this for? Oh, that'll launch us to the last um, lifeguard post. We'll do that afterwards. I want to go over here and get that other golden spatula first. Holy cow, it like throws all of the goo. That's kind of cool. Can I just throw it and refill the timer? Yeah. Sweet. And this is number 20. Oh, number 26. I thought we were at 25. 26 is even better. This is actually a really sweet location to be because we can just take this back to the uh, inflatable floaty things. Oh no. Okay, we're back. Had some audio issues there. Uh, accidentally unplugged my mic, so kind of lost sound, but anyway, last thing we need to do before we head out of here is just go back to Mr. Krabs, collect our golden spatula from him, and then we can finish up Goo Lagoon by linking up that final lifeguard post. Oh yeah, Golden Spatula. Yeah, and then we'll go link up that lifeguard post and wrap up this level. I think that's about it too, right? There's one more task to be received. Okay, we made it back to the end. Let's go and finish up this area. Made it to the final tower. How to do it. Ooh, that was really loud. Looks like we got a warp. Um, a way to warp back and forth between this area and the beginning, I assume. Yeah. You gotta switch back to SpongeBob. And now we can link up the final tower. Or I think actually just straight up destroy that robot now at this point. Yeah. 
Noise. All right, time to go relieve Larry of Babe Watch duty. I'm sure he's very, very tired of handling that job. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You're king of the beach. Here, have a golden spat. Yes. Thanks for your. Okay, I think that that's all that we can do for now. Um, it says we have not received this task. Uh, let me go see if I can figure... Let me go see if I can find where this task is. Okay, so I spent about 20 minutes searching for this last golden spatula, and I did have to resort to Google, but it's actually down there. I uh, don't know how we missed it, but we can jump down here to do the final task to get a gold, the last golden spatula of this level. So, let's do it! Bounce time! Lots of bounces. Oh shoot, I was actually expecting to be able to bounce on the uh, chair. So I was holding four this whole time and I almost ran into the goo. Nice. Final golden spatula. All right, with that, we have collected all the golden spatulas, got most of the socks. Not really gonna try to collect all of them, but did collect most of them. And we are making good progress, so we'll go ahead and end things here. Next video, we will do the next area. <laughs> this game is gonna be uploaded to the channel Saturday and Sunday, um, so if you're liking it, um, it's gonna be uploaded every weekend. And as always, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.